So then what role do banned books play not only in the story of occulted and why is literary freedom important? Yeah, Amy had no idea that she was growing up in a cult, and she had no idea that anything that she was taught wasn't true, because when that's all you're ever told from being a baby, that, that you have no way of knowing. And the way she learned about the world is that her cult was actually bought an old strip mall that had been abandoned, and like I guess like gutted out the blockbuster video in the makeup store or whatever, and turned it into a temple. And one of the buildings that had been there was an old day school. And they had a library in the back. And that was one of the things left untouched. They left the library there, but they just sealed it off. No one was allowed to go in there because these are books you're not allowed to read. And Amy, as a kid, would sneak in there and just read these books. Very basic books, like reading the encyclopedia and like looking up Gandhi and being like, wait a minute, where's this guy's like sexy muscles that he has in the book we read? Like, wait, where's his like, it doesn't even say he's an alien. He's a guy from India. Realized that like, there's one lie, then like, let's look further and see what else they're not telling me. And that's what allowed her to escape. And that's why it's important for all kids to be able to read books that people don't want them to read, because you don't know what information you're missing until you see it. Right now in America, there's people trying to hide history from kids, the history of race relations. In America, they're trying to hide the existence of LGBTQ people by banning all these books. And it has gotten really bad in America and a lot worse than a lot of people know. Because just the last time we talked, when Bambuklo came out, this wasn't really an issue. And I was talking about history. But now things in America have gotten to the point that even Hyunsuk like, is like, ooh, that's, I don't know about America. Because two weeks ago, Band Book Club got banned in Florida. Because of that, I was able to look into this organization that's doing it like all across America. I got a copy of their secret uh, spreadsheet that has the reason why they banned all these books. And it's a lot like in Hyunsuk's day, it was, we're just getting rid of communist propaganda. In Amy's day, we're just getting rid of the lies about the world. And nowadays the line is, we're just getting rid of pornography in schools. And that's what a lot of people believe because they don't read the documents. They're hidden away. But I'm looking at the books they're banning and the reasons, and they're banning like children's books about friendly bears because they say that stories of empathy and Zen are incompatible with Christianity. They banned like Ready Player One because they like underlined every swear word in it. And they, they'd write like, crap, kind of okay. And like every word they'd rate it from like, okay to not okay. The important things here are they're banning stories about people that aren't like them. Number one, hiding the existence of people from uh, kids and also the kids that could see themselves in those books. It's saying not only are these books not fit for public display, but that means you are not fit for the world as well. I worry that it's making kids feel like that. And so that's why I've been kind of fighting against it and writing books on that topic.